everybody, I'm the Pigglesworth, and welcome back to Antimatter Chemistry. Starting out over in this room because we've got a few more things to craft and then we can move on with today's episode. So in last episode, we had done these quests. Not these quests right here, but these quests right here. Got a whole bunch of this stuff done, but we had run into some, uh, some roadblocks. Yes, we did. So with the fission controller and the fusion core, what I'd run into was, let's see, fission controller? These items right here, these magnesium di diboride solenoids. You click on that and we can see that there's tough alloy, but there's also magnesium diboride alloy. So to make three of those, you need a magnesium ingot and boron, two boron ingots, or you can have them as dust. And then you put them in the alloy furnace. Now the alloy furnace, we actually built in last episode. I think that's why I ended up not having the materials. I had forgotten that I'd tried to plan for that contingency. So what I had done is I brought the alloy furnace over to here and plugged it in. And you can see that I've put upgrades in here. Can I take these out? Oh, you can, awesome. Okay, so that's cool. We're like with, uh, with these machines, see how it says hardened? Once you've upgraded it, it's upgraded. I don't think you can take the upgrade back out and remove it. We can configure it and we can look at different augmentations. But yeah, once you've upgraded it, it's upgraded. Where with this, if for some reason you needed to, you didn't have enough, you could swap these out. You could like fully upgrade one of these things, run it, and then remove those upgrades and stick it in another machine. It's still a little manual and annoying, but at least you have that option. So that's kind of cool. But I went ahead and dumped the two uh, ingots in there and crafted it up and made the stuff. And then apparently I've dumped it somewhere and now we have to find it. <laughs> so let's see here. Um, I think I put it in the chest in here. I dumped, yep, magnesium diboride alloy. So let's go and grab all this stuff. We'll do ourselves a quick little crafting session here at the beginning of all things. Um, so fission controller. We're going to hover over that. We need everything. So let's go ahead and make our machine chassis. We need to make four of these plates. So let's go ahead and one, two, do that. Clear that. I, I kid you not. I feel like we're just doing a repeat of last episode now. So we'll do four of those. And then we need two and two as i say i know i need two more for the other machine so we'll go ahead and get that out of the way and then we just need two of these and so we're going to need eight of these plates now eight plates are great look at that there's just enough for eight it worked out <laughs> so let's make two of those fission controller major tom to fission controller splitting the atom there we go oh that looks almost like a uh, like a, a weird wannabe Boba Fett face or something right there. Okay, so we can get fission controller off of there. So the fusion core. We need this machine chassis. Now I'm gonna mention it in a minute, but I I I know that this thing is supposed to be some kind of a multi-block structure. Uh oh. This is where I think I got stuck. Yeah, I'm going to have to make that stuff right there. Okay, oh, piggy, piggy, piggy. You just didn't pay attention. So, chemical reactor. I think we've made a chemical reactor before. We have to make two chemical reactors for that. The machine chassis. And then these elite platings. These elite platings, a crystal binder. Magnesium dust, calcium sulfate, pulverized obsidian. And this crushed rhodochrosite, rhodochrosite, manufactory rock crusher, manufactory, it comes from rhodochrosite. Where does that stuff come from? Let's back up. Pulverizer, rock crusher, granite. You take it for granite. So rock crusher. I don't know that we've built a rock crusher, so let's go ahead and bookmark that and look at Advanced plating. Okay, so I have a little bit more to go to build that, apparently. I don't... Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean to uh, to take that off. Let's 
go back here, here, and hit A to put that back. And it's back. Okay. So. Okay, that's dimlet stuff. Fission casing. What? What is the... There was one of these that I was looking at, and I happened to hit... Hit the button. Radioactive matter. Maybe it was these. Transparent fusion, fission multi-blocks, fission casing. Was it you? No. I think we can make the fission casing, though. I did... I, or that stinking Enderman. Um, I think I did manage to get all the stuff for the fission casings. Okay, there we go. Two... Three, four, six, seven, eight, and then eight more. Oh, we can just click it there. That's so much easier. And then that that will give us a stack of that. Correct? Correct, Amundo? 98, Piggy. 98. Not a stack. No, no, no. <laughs> All this crazy failing at the beginning. Transparent electromagnets. Hmm. Well, there were there was one of these devices that I hit the shift key, and it actually gave me some explanation. And it was trying to describe how I needed to assemble this uh, this multi-block structure that I was going to need to build. So we will keep we'll keep plugging away at that that nuclear craft stuff. Y'all go ahead. I know that some of y'all are really good about it. We're going to go ahead and get your comments in the comment section below. And I'm gonna try and read those and we're we'll trying to see if we can make some heads or tails out of that stuff and figure out what is going on. So in the last episode we had talked about this uh not just trial by fire, but this these trial glitch infused helmets. This stuff is gonna give us the ability to fly around almost like you're in creative mode which would be awesome so that it will help us with the dragon fight a whole bunch whole bunch more glitch and fuse sword the data gained from the demise of a mob is doubled oh when data is gained there's also a small chance a sword will get a permanent damage increase nice so we could use that to make our quick our our deep learner learn stuff faster as well so with this stuff we looked we saw a trial key and a trial keystone and wasn't quite sure to, how to make heads or tails of this stuff. Let's get these out of here for now. We're not going to do RF tools today, but I was doing some research. So we've got this deep mob learning book, and I started looking through here, and I found we've got an entry on trials and system malfunction. So let's click on this. This chapter will teach you everything you need to know about the trial mechanic and deep mob learning. Trial attunement. This little guy is what starts a trial, but first you need to attune it, the trial key. Hover over the key to see what data models you can use to attune it with. More may be added in the future. Now, I don't know if that means that as they, as time goes on in real life, more things may be added to the mod, or as more time goes on and I play, I as a player can add more things to the key. I'm not sure what that means. The attunement of this of the key will decide what trial is started. For example, a zombie attuned key will start a zombie trial. Your attune keys by you attune keys by having them in your inventory. The next time you slay a mob and gain data, it will attune the key if the mob slain matches one of the available attunements. Um, let's see here. Hold shift. Zombie, Enderman, Skeleton, Witch, Spider, Slime, or Wither, Skeleton. Those are the things that we can kill. And while holding the key in our... Having it in our inventory, I'm going to go ahead and put it on this... Uh, my hotkey. I think it means maybe if you just have it on your person, it'll work. But to make sure, I'm going to have it on my hotkey. Um, but it will attune it to one of those creatures. So once we've got it attuned, this Trials... Trial Keystone. If a trial you fight against, in a trial you fight against waves of monsters until they are all defeated. Conquering a trial will yield you great rewards. Not only is this a good way to get more pristine matter, it's also excellent for data collection. Higher tier trials will yield more rewards. 
The number of waves you will face depends on the tier of the data model that was used to attune the trial key. The tier of the key will also determine how many affixes will be active in the trial. Okay. So, affixes. They will alter what happens during a trial. The behavior and events of an affix varies greatly. An affix could be a buff or debuff to the player or mob or some in-world event. The remaining pages of this chapter will describe the various affixes. Speed. This affix applies a permanent speed increase to the mobs specific to the trial. Does not affect the player or mobs spawned in by other affixes. Regen party. This affix will sometimes cause a rip in time and space, causing the skies to open up and fling a lingering regen potion into the air. Empowered glitches. This affix will empower the system glitches that sometimes appear within a trial. They gain more health and launch more orbs, which also deals more damage. Knockback. This Affix will apply a permanent knockback immunity to the mobs specific to the trial. Does not affect the player or mobs spawned in by other affixes. Blaze invaders. This will sometimes make blaze appear inside the trial. Try not to get yourself burned. How many of these are? Oh, okay, one more. This affix will lure in the smaller, more greedy zombies of the world to the trial. They may carry valuables. And Thunderdome. Two man enter, one man leave. This affix will add creatures of thunder to the trial. May occasionally spawn in charged creeper and witches. So it sounds like to me that these affixes for the most part are negative. <laughs> in the sense that they're going to be more difficult to deal with. So then we've got this system glitch. It will teach you everything you need to know about the trial mechanic in deep mob learning. The system glitch. System glitches will spawn during system malfunctions in the trial. Higher tier trials have a higher risk of malfunctioning. This being is highly aggressive, launches corrosive projectiles towards their target. Beware extremely dangerous, approach with caution, drops glitch hearts. Glitch hearts are going to be important. This will, will drop from the slain system glitches affected by looting, so we need to carry a looting sword. This rare commodity is used to create some really kick backside end game equipment. And I think that's what they're talking about when it comes to this stuff. So the glitch-infused chest plate, or actually all of these, so we can see right here. It's made from these glitch-infused ingots. And it said, drop some fragments, lapis and gold, into a bottle. At first I'm like, what are these fragments? What are these fragments? And then I saw the unstable glitch fragment right here. And what's really strange is... None of that's showing up there in the recipes or anything. So unstable, unstable glitch fragment crafted by crushing a corrupted glitch heart against some obsidian yields three fragments per crushed heart. So now we have to do corrupted heart, corrupted glitch heart. And that's where I'd notice these trial keystones. So, depending on what type of mob we're, we're having to fight, some give more, some give less, and we also get these pristine matters, but this is only if this stuff is self-aware. If it's below self-aware, I get the feeling that your chances of doing this stuff is going to be even less. Now, we have Enderman and Zombie at self-aware. I'm thinking Zombie is going to be the easiest to start with, just because... Oh, what? What chest was it? It's not that one. No, 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 no. Where's the book chest? Did I not look in that one? I kid you not. I thought I started with that one. So let's dump all this stuff in here. We're going to take some of this stuff out of here. Um, you, you. I'll leave the books for now. We'll take some more of that region stuff and a little bit more food. There we go. And let's see here. We want to make this trial key and this trial podium looking thing so hit A for that and A for that and I think what it is is if we're holding the key 
Yep, we hold the key, we'll go kill a zombie. That will attune the key to being a zombie. Then with the trial keystone, we will assemble it like this. And that will make a zombie attuned keystone. And I'm trying to remember how we're supposed to activate it from there. Let's go back to that book real quick. How do we make sure trials? Trial attunement, trials. The number of waves, that tells us about that. Trial attunement. The attunement of the key will decide what trial is started. Hover over the key to see what data models you can... Okay. The next time you slay a mob, data... Okay, that will attune it. They will alter what happens during a trial. Hmm. Okay, well, you know what? Let's just experiment with this for a minute and see what we can come up with. So, I think for the most part, I'm going to have all the materials to at least make the key. I've noticed this. I'm going to show you this real quick. So, say that we're looking for, oh, I don't know, um, gravel. We can see gravel right there. So, if I click over here and do G, nothing happens. Now it goes away. If I stop typing, see how it disappears? I'm not doing anything. I'm not hitting backspace or anything. But if I go over here and type... Not brog. Gra... No. What? What? Gravel. If I type here, not only does it show up here, but it shows up over here. So it's really strange. I don't know if that's a glitch. I don't know if that's these two mods conflicting with each other, but I, I kept noticing that. I just wanted to kind of point that out. And then if you notice, if I do backspace here, whoop, comes back. It's like this one gets the priority, I guess is the way to say it. So trial key, we'll click you. We need, a, oh, you know what? We have got one ender pearl sitting in this chest. Talk about serendipity I tell you I tell you so you come with me we'll put this over here and that will give us a key so now we've got a trial key let's get ourselves a sword and let's go to the do I have my okay I do have my slime boots on just wanted to make sure let's go to the deep dark I'm pretty certain uh, that we're gonna be able to find ourselves a uh, a zombie fairly quickly here and now that I've got that cool little spot that we can drop off hello overworld cake you just stay right there okay let's run down here opened up the roof so we no longer bonk our heads and we can move a little bit quicker and then we will come right over here and drop down and looky there we've got a zombie waiting for us that's awesome so come here mr. zombie sir You've even lost a little bit of health. <gasps> I think we just attuned it. Hold shift. The key is currently not attuned. Why not? I just killed a zombie. Let's do this. Let's hold it in our offhand. Oh, no. Come on, Mr. Zombie. Oh, wait a minute. I've got a bow and arrow, don't I? I was going to say, we could do this, and this will help us pinpoint exactly which mob we're wanting to kill. Oh, I wonder if you could kill, like, a uh, a zombie villager, and that would attune it. <laughs> Uh-oh! Oh, no, 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 get out of here! <laughs> that went south quick. I wonder if that attuned it, though. I wonder if I accidentally killed a mob and attuned it. <laughs> Come on, you send us over here. Let's see. Did you get attuned? This current key is currently not attuned. All right, so let's run down here again. Let's give it one more shot. We got some cobblestone repair to do down here. Is it just me or does it seem like we're moving quicker? I forgot my pants of fire. That would have helped me run a little bit quicker. Okay. Oh, that little stinker. Boop. So let's do this. Let's check the book real quick. Trials. Trial attunement. Hover over the key. Um, for example, a zombie attune... Okay. 
by having them in your inventory the next time you slay a mob and gain data. I'm just going to go back over here. How many? Raise your hand. How many of y'all were screaming and yelling, Piggy? Piggy, Piggy, Piggy. Oh, Piggy. So I've got the inner... Okay, so over here... See, here's the thing. If, my, if I don't have one that's not self-aware, does it still, like... Or if it is self-aware, will it still let you gain data? See, that one's self-aware. It doesn't need to level up anymore, so will it gain data? I don't know. Let's do this. We'll add the zombie right there. And let's go ahead back one more time. These episodes, they were starting to run a little long, aren't they? I hope y'all are enjoying that. I mean, they're, they're pretty easy to make in the sense that I just hit record and play. Sometimes I don't feel like I get enough of a sense of accomplishment per episode, though. Like, sometimes I get to talking. I don't know if y'all notice. I can talk. Boy, can I talk. And I'll look over at my timer, and I'm like, you, you've spent half an, half an episode talking. You haven't accomplished much there, sir. So y'all kind of let me know in the comment section below. Like, what what is your experience with, with the shows? What What is it that you like about it? Do you like how it flows or how it works? I'm not being insecure, I promise. I just, doing doing these videos, I don't have like a live audience, so it can be a little, feel a little isolated. And so sometimes it's nice to get feedback just to see what is it that people do and don't like. All right, so let's see here. Will this gather some data? The key was attuned to zombie. Okay, so that was fairly simple. So we'll go back here and let's see what this uh, this trial podium thing. Soot covered machine casing. Hmm. I may need to make that off screen. I get the feeling that's going to take a few minutes to make. I tell you what, since we're kind of running a little short on time here, I'm going to go ahead and make that casing real quick, and then I'll come back, and um, we're going to try a trial. We're going to see what a trial is and see if it's a trial and error, okay? <laughs> so y'all just hang out for just a second. I'm going to get some stuff together to make these keys or the, this casing or whatever it is, and I'll meet you somewhere for a trial, okay? So y'all just hold tight. All right, everybody, I have got myself the casing. Whoop, Enderman, always looking for a photo bomb. <laughs> I've got myself this machine casing built. Look at it real quick. So this, these molybdium ingots, that's just molybdium. That was pretty easy. Um, the soot covered plates, we've done that. Those are pretty easy. The signalium is what took a little bit. You have to make this destabilized redstone, silver, and copper, and combine all that, and then that'll make your gear. So I've got that selected. It's got all of this. But what's strange is it won't take the key out of my offhand. So we'll do that. And we're going to do this. And that will make a trial keystone. It's not giving it any kind of name or anything. So I'm hoping that it's going to remember that it's zombie version. See, it's not even showing me there. Now I wonder, does this thing need power? Let's... I, I'm thinking this thing isn't going to act like the end cake where you set it down somewhere and it breaks if you try to remove it. But let's just do this. Let's place it there just in case. It doesn't look like it connected. Now, if I right click on it, let's squat and right click and left click. Nothing happens. Something is blocking the trial area. Make sure a 15 by 15 by 10 area is clear. And the layer beneath the trial keystone is made up of full blocks, also 15 by 15. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, it looks like it doesn't need power. It's going to be what looks like a wave of zombies. It's not like creepers. Creepers I'd have to be concerned about because those are destructive. So let's come over here. Let's do that. Insert an attuned trial key to start a trial. Wait, what? Just a... Tr oh. I thought you had to build it. So you build this with a trial key, 
and then you take an attuned trial key and insert it to control. So you only have to build one of these. I can't bonk my head on this. It's not tall enough. <laughs> All right, well, let me go attune another key, and then I'll meet you back over here. All right, everybody. I think this is going to work. Let's right click. Click. Trial key. Insert trial key. Trial type zombie. Affixes. Oh, great. We're going to have blaze invaders, empowered glitches, and loot hoarders. Seven waves, self-aware. The reward will be pristine zombie matter and three corrupted glitch hearts. Now, what I'm concerned about is, will our home command work or will we be stuck? Start trial. Oh, wait a minute. That's stinkerish. Okay, so... How do we know when each wave is like... Oh, look in the upper right hand. It says wave one out of seven. Wave cleared. Hey, stinker. Loot hoarder. Okay, so that's what that was. A zombie villager. Oh, husk. Great. <laughs> Now, I wonder what happens if you don't finish this, like if you just run off. Do you have to stay within a certain parameter for this to work? Oh, yikes. Hey, stinker. Oh, I do have some uh, some prismarine shards. So that, uh-oh, do you... <laughs> like the zombie on fire. And I also noticed the zombies don't seem to be affected by the uh, the daylight here. You stinker, stop it. Oh, did you see the zombie actually kill the blaze? That was awesome. Okay, so let's do this because we're about to... We're about to die from this. No! <laughs> Trial failed. You left the arena. All participants, participants have died, left the arena. Uh... No! <laughs> oh, and they're still there. That's not good. Okay, so I think that I'm invisible to them right now. Now, did it did it stop the trial, but all of these mobs are just going to be there waiting and I have to clear them out? Oh, crazy. Okay, so we've got we've got our power back. We've got our peach juice. Let's get ready, you little stinker. And get our sword ready. There we go. Okay. So that's done. So I wonder if it stops with the waves, but it leaves whatever mobs were still there. See, this is going to be important because we may want to do this somewhere where, um, like, especially if we start messing with, what do you call them? Um, creepers and stuff like that. Let's look and see. Oh my gosh, it consumes the key. That stinks. So w every time you do this, you're going to lose a key. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Okay, so I'll tell you what I'm going to have to do between episodes. I'm going to need to make a few different attunement keys. And I think at the same time what I need to do is I need to make an arena. I need to build something for this thing to do. What did it say were the rules for this thing to work? Let's set it somewhere where it's going to be blocked and see what it said. Okay, make sure a 15 by 15 by 10 area is clear and the layer beneath the trial keystone is made up of full blocks, also 15 by 15. So here's what I don't know. What I don't know is, can we build a trial area that has this much space in it empty? And then build walls. If we step beyond this 15 by 15 by 10 area, does it consider us leaving the arena and it shut down the trial? I don't know that. But what we'll need to do is experiment with encasing a room. So it'll be kind of like one of these rooms. But encasing a room that's this size so that we'll have ourselves a trial arena and we can try that out. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So we got a little bit more prepping to do between episodes, but that's cool. I feel like we actually made a little bit of progress in understanding what these trials are and how to prep for them. And apparently not wearing any armor and just slime boots was probably not the way to go. So we will need to remedy that as well. But if you enjoyed this episode, please click that like button. If you want to see more of these as I release them, don't forget to subscribe. And also, if you want YouTube to notify you, click the notification bell. I know I say it every time. I know. Someday YouTube will cooperate, right? And it's interesting. My death marker is pink, just like a pig. It's like it knew. It's taunting me. Ha ha, piggy. Look what happened. <laughs> I'm going to go and get myself some trial keys ready and make myself an arena to be ready for a fight in next episode. And that is when I hope to see you is in the next episode.